three, two, one. Welcome back to Bean Gaming. The 10K Bean Gaming face reveal is underway. We're at 9,800. We're almost at 9,900 subscribers. It's close to being 100 away. I, I'm I'm feeling I might get there this week. What the, by the end of August? What the heck? This is crazy stuff. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see my ugly mug. But anyway, what's going on for today? Yes, I am going to try and complete my index. And so guess what? I need your help in order to do this. If I hop on over to the index, go to my units. Let's start from the very top. That way you can contact me. Let me know what I need and if you have it. So scrolling on down, look at the secrets here. And it's hard to tell because some of these secrets are pretty dark, but I have this one here. I don't know what this one is. Don't know what this one is. You'll have to let me know because I don't have it. And anyway, keep scrolling on down. You can see everything that I have. You can see I need these two here. So let me know. I think this is uh, this is some kind of foxy, and this might be the new nightmare unit or something. I don't know. Let me know. But if you have it, let me know. Same thing with, with these two over here, those two secrets. Now, scrolling on down to the nightmare units. I'm doing okay there. I need, looks like a mangle here. I, this is too dark for me to see. I'm not sure what this one is. And then right over here. Now, let's get into the shinies. The shinies, epics, I don't, I'm surprised I don't have those. Maybe I deleted them before I had them. But anyway, I need shinies of these two. And then I need a shiny here, shiny here. Oh, a shiny fast cave. I thought I had a shiny fast cave. Maybe I don't. Okay, this looks like some kind of balloon boy. This looks like some kind of foxy. Scrolling it down here. Oh, the secrets is where I'm really struggling with. Look at all these secrets that I need. Oh, it's it's all blank and empty. How sad. Very sad indeed. Scrolling on down. That way you can see. And then I need... Uh, the, here's the nightmare units now. Look, I pretty much... No, I do need every single nightmare unit. How sad is that? Well, I guess it's not sad, but, man, if you guys can hook me up, I would appreciate it. Of course, I'll give them right back. I just need to complete my index. Now, besides that, let me show you how many coins you can get playing Nightmare Mode on a 2x luck event, 2x coin event, essentially, and watch this. This is really cool. 3-4 is the boosted map. Everyone remembers how much of a hard time I had defeating this map. That was before Crying Child. And I'm not going to go through every single wave. I just want to show you some key moments here, and then I'll show you how many coins that I actually ended up winning for this particular map. This was the critical part here, but you can see that I do have Down Crying Child, and I have my booster completely maxed out. And here's where Spring Trap really helps. And it's it's the AoE, it's the type of AoE that it does. Look at this, Spring Traps. There we go. Okay, so that Spring Trap works. Now, what the heck? And let's go ahead and completely max out Scott. And once Scott's maxed out, the Spring Traps aren't even needed, really. And, I mean, it's just the AoE. They do more AoE damage than the Glitch Puppeteer, which Glitch Puppeteer, I really like. That was one of my favorite towers. But take a look. I mean, you see when Springtrap goes to work, it just completely, with the, with the damage waves that it does, that's what makes it highly effective. So when I zoom on out here, watch, and you can see that the damage is going in all of these different directions. What is that, about five different directions? It was four different directions. Watch when these enemies come out of this entrance and these entrances on the side. What's also nice about Spring Trap is that on max level, its cooldown changes from 1 to 0.8, which makes it even faster, which means it's going to do more damage per second. This Crying Child isn't needed anymore, so I'm going to sell it, and I'm going to put it on this spot because this is where the boss spawns from. Boss is out 450k, Scott's done his damage, so I'm going to sell him, replace him on this spot, and it's going to be no contest. But I really want you to see the amount of coins that I get. How crazy is this going to be? 3,543.75, that's on Game 3, Night 4, and of course the souls and then the win. Let's go back to the lobby. Let me know what you think, if you can help me out with the index here, I really appreciate it, and that'd be awesome if I could completely fill it up. And so we have the update coming tomorrow. I will be live for that. And so if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.